we do. Hey. Awesome. Okay, everybody, welcome to this week's live show. As you can see, it's just me today, but I'm not alone. G and Nick are taking the week off. Well, G's actually there doing all the audio. <laughs> but I'm joined here with a local group called the Friendship Breakers. Yes. 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 Friendship <laughs> Breakers. So why don't you guys let the people know a little bit about yourselves and what you guys do on your channel, where to find you, all that jazz. All right. Hello, I am Zach from the Friendship Breakers, and this is my teammate Kat. We run a local Twitch streaming slash YouTube entertainment group here, and we do a little bit of everything. We cover news bits, we do live streams of shows, we host events here in the city, we run the local FGC, actually, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of live stuff uh, on Twitch, actually, where we do Mario Party, we do uh, random game nights where we sit through a library of over 50,000 video games and just hope to God we get something good. Not Mahjong. And not Mahjong for the fifth time <laughs> we always in get Japanese, them. by the way. Uh, so yeah, we do that as well. We, uh, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch, all underneath its name, Friendship Breakers. So we're relatively, well, we're relatively small, but we do stream pretty much guaranteed once or twice a week mm -hmm. just for the time being, but hopefully that's going to pick up relatively soon, so... Okay, well, I will include links to all that jazz afterwards. I'll tag you guys and I'll guess the story after. Per so just so you have access to your Instagram. But today we're ma mostly talking about E3 because you guys run a video game account. And also that literally just happened. So, yes. you know, other than Incredibles 2, there's nothing much to talk about. <laughs> oh man, that did just happen, huh? Yeah, we didn't watch it. We kind of missed the ball on that. But, <laughs> yeah. so for E3, what was your favorite press conference who won e3 this year nintendo Nintendo. you're saying nintendo nintendo, nintendo always wins though in my mind so. no way man nintendo was actually on my lower scale this year but that's only because they Def showed off like four things and they showed off smash bros don't get me wrong i'm hyped for smash bros i'm hyped any day that i can play as snake in his tight little butt but it's <laughs> like uh it's like you gave us a really good show last year where they showed off like they had Breath of the Wild, they had Mario Odyssey, they dropped Bayonetta 3, Metroid Prime 4, all these big titles. And this year, we essentially got Damon X Machina uh, and some other random indie games here and there. A Mario Party, which I'm probably more excited about almost somehow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then Smash Bros. But it's like, in terms of who had the best conference overall, in terms of just quantity and quality, it was probably Microsoft, actually. Because... Uh, yeah. I'll let you finish that. Well, I'm just going to say, because Microsoft showed off 50 games, and some of them were world exclusive premieres, and some were exclusives to the system. So it's like, they had the most bang for their buck, and yeah, a lot of that stuff you could get on alternate platforms, obviously, but it was like, non-stop, thing after thing after thing after thing after thing after thing, so. Wasn't Nintendo kind of like that too, though? They were, they were just gunshotting games. Like, they are like, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, and then press Sakurai. It's true. <laughs> he came out and he's like, never ask me for anything yeah. ever again. <laughs> well, that's the thing. is like, they showed a lot of stuff, but then they spent the last half an hour of their direct actually on Smash alone. Yeah, that is that is true. But to be fair, I mean, who was really watching the Nintendo E3 conference for something other than Smash Bros? That's very true. I was actually hoping for Animal Crossing. <laughs> But that's because I'm a sucker and I like being disappointed in everything ever. This guy likes Sims. I will say for Microsoft though, I will give you that. They had a lot of like big games actually getting really, like not just like minor, you know, like random indie titles from Nintendo where they had like Fortnite coming out finally, but you can't yeah. even connect your <laughs> account to it because Sony's like, no, screw you. We're this thing open. can play Fortnite. Nintendo's for Force, but is isn't exclusive, but that yeah. was pretty that's pretty They hype. showed off mm. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, the new from software title. They showed off. Um, they showed off the new Gears Five, the new Gears Pop, Gears oh, yeah. Tactics. Um, they showed off. Oh, they showed off fall footage that was then shown again at like the Bethesda one. Mm -hmm. But I mean, honestly, in terms of just like qu quantity, they really nailed it. But I mean, I'd be a sucker if I didn't say like Sony is just kind of blew me out of the water. They just started off in that church, which was just <laughs> phenomenal. But then you stopped that and you moved everyone from the conference at the church into the conference hall. And that took about 15 to tw no, 12 minutes of people on like who were watching online, like we were essentially, mm. just, just sitting there like... It was kind of awkward. It was bad. Yeah. Like, like I thought they'd be there the whole time, but then they moved into another area, which is kind of bizarre. Yeah. But then they dropped, uh, they showed more Death Strand and Ghost of Tsushima and Spider-Man mm -hmm. and made me moister than an oyster. <laughs> so it's like, it's just uh, like, I, I can't be mad at Sony for showing, for dedicating those, those four games that they told us about and then just delivering on them in like the biggest way possible. Because like we were saying before, Ghost of Tsushima is like one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh yeah. 
Like, like that set piece with like the red leaves, probably like Canadian. They look, they look like maple It's very leaves, Canadian, yeah. yeah it's like, it's, they're doing their best to emulate old Shogun Samurai movies, essentially. Mm-hmm. So that's a really big aspect of that is set pieces. So yeah. Is Death Stranding the one with Norman Reedus? Yes, that's the new Kojima one with Norman Reedus, Mads Mikkelsen, uh, Guillermo del Toro, yeah. and two new actresses who I can't think of off the top of my head. But yeah, it's one of the new ones, and it's it's Kojima's thing. If like if you ever if you've ever played a Metal Gear game or anything like that, he's a movie man trying to make a game about making a movie. Essentially, like he his big thing is movies, and that's kind of what he does. He knows how to do Western storytelling better than a lot of Western movie and film developers know how to actually do it. 